All right, guys, what's up? It's Friday afternoon. Uh, Lord willing, eight weeks from today, both of these men will be on the Olympia stage for their prejudging. You know, that's the goal, that's the focus. Charles obviously has to qualify before that at the Legion. Uh, this is going to be Brett's rookie season at the Olympia. I'm very excited about that for him. Um, he's so meticulous in everything that he does. So we're going to go through a workout today, much like with yesterday. You know, my goal is just to be here as a support to them, kind of see what they're going through. Um, see where their fatigue points yeah. are. Well, Brett's like, gonna lead the workout. I was not planning on it. We're gonna be doing a push, so kind of primary shoulder day, secondary chest day today. We're gonna go through it together. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm not sure what Matt said, but he said we're gonna F stuff up. So we got Charles here today. Uh, Charles, four weeks out from the Legion Sports Festival and then myself is eight weeks out from the Olympia now. So we are full go on these training sessions right now. We're gonna bring a good one today. Charles is dealing with a little bit of a chest injury today, so we're gonna be smart on those movements. We're gonna warm up by getting the back of our delts um, pumped up and getting blood in our shoulders in general. So we're gonna do some rear delts. So this is the reverse pec deck. They're just, just specifically working that, that back side of the, the shoulder. Um, and we're probably just gonna do one exercise here and that's it on these and then we'll move into side lateral. So work up to a heavy set and we'll back off on that. Yeah. <laughs> Charles said on record he's had sore hamstrings for the first time in his prep today, so that's a good time. Yeah. At least he tried hamstrings right once this prep. <laughs> <laughs> he don't got the mic on, so you really can't hear what he says, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. 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 Come on, boy, come on. Oh. Oh. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Oh. We're good, come on, keep going. Oh. Just head to the bottom, just drive from there. Oh. Come on. Five, come on, oh. come on. Four, oh. come on. Three, oh. two. Oh. Wow. Oh. Yes. <coughs> Squeeze that shit, bro. Squeeze that shit. You got more? You got more? You got more? Come on. Yeah. Sound good. What we got next? Um, sides. Sides, yeah. Exercise number two, we are sticking with shoulders. Um, we're gonna do some side ladder raises. So I am huge. And so is Charles, because we've trained together shoulders a lot, and he likes how I do things. But I'm big on getting a lot of blood, a lot of action in there first. So especially shoulders, get a lot of blood in there, get them swole, get them full, get those boulder shoulders, whatever you want to call them. Get as much in there as we can, get some lactic acid in there. And then that's when we'll move on to pressing or some front raises after that. So we'll probably do two, probably two exercises of just side lateral raises here, because we want to create that width. The size on the shoulders, that width, those boulder look because it's gonna make everything else look better. So let's get wide, let's get tall. No, we're not gonna get tall. We're <laughs> permanently short, but let's get wider. Yeah. <laughs> I may like to do seated here. So seated, um, side lateral raises for dumbbells are my favorite because it eliminates that lower body. So we can't cheat, you know what I mean? When you're standing, you can use a little body English. You gotta throw the weight around. When you're seated, it eliminates half your body. So you have your upper body. So we just need to focus on sitting straight up and down. So you're not swinging at all and not cheating. So we're straight up and down, using our shoulders to get that weight out and away from us. Yeah, make it burn. Try to make it burn. Bring in the detail. Bring in the detail. Bring in the detail. Come on. Nice trace, more shoulder raises. Like I said, we want to get blood and volume into the shoulders. 
Um, so now we're gonna do a standing option. This is the new Atlantis plate loaded shoulder raise machine, which we really, really like. Um, so like I said, just focus. Only need one or two warm ups. We're already, already feeling really good. So we're gonna go straight into some working sets and then just go into complete failure here. So let's get the most we can with perfect form. Good, Bob. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Drop set. So we did one top set. Now we're just going to volumize and get one drop set. So I'm going to do two drops. Start at 105. Go to failure. Go 75. Go to failure, and then go to 45. You go to failure, whatever we have left after that. Come on, man. Four weeks, that's worth. Here we are. Good, come on now, come on, finish. Come on, buddy. Let's go, let's go. Out and away. Out and away. Come on. Come on. Exercise four, moving into our pressing. So with what we were saying, we wanted to do a lot of the raises. So we did some rear delts, two different exercises of side raises. So we got a lot of blood in the muscle. Um, and now we want to finish them off with some shoulder pressing. So we're going to do some press on this prime shoulder press. Uh, just so again, working up to a top set. I'm going to go extra heavy today because it's feeling good. I haven't done this movement in a while. Um, but we like to do this. I know Charles does as well uh, because you save your pressing for the end because it's going to be harder because you're already worn out. There's already a lot of blood in the shoulders and you got to focus on the presses more as well as you don't have to go as heavy technically um, because you're not going to be able to. So a little injury prevention as well. Um, but I always feel more out of the pressing at the end, because if you can press heavy at the end of a shoulder workout, then you're doing something right. So keep those into the end, finish them off right. Well, we see who has more range of motion in their shoulders. Feeling gnarly right now, feeling crazy. I needed this coming out here and uh, getting in with Brad. Getting in with Brad is what I need, you know what I mean? Where I'm at my gym, I gotta set the vibe there. So when I come here, the environment's already here. All I gotta do is just work. So that's what I like coming out here. I get to just, you know, get in the vibe here and just do my thing instead of making the vibe and getting this work in. Yeah. Okay, we are moving on to chest now. So we wanted to get a little chest work here at the end. Um, we are gonna do a cable set up here for the start, just to get blood in there, like I said. I'm gonna do flies. So I like to start with flies before I do any presses. I, injury prevention, blood and muscle, same, same. He, Charles, since he's dealing with a little bit of an injury and filling that up right now, he's just gonna do presses through this. So that's the good thing about this uh, see the cable unit is you can either press it with the cables or you can also do flies here. So I'm doing the CAS handles, which is a fatter handle, which I like because I really feel like you don't, you're not so worried about your grip. It's just about the control and the squeeze of the chest. Oh. 
Set. Oh. 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 All right, moving on to oh. our real press of the day. So this is going to be our official chest press. Um, this is just a prime pin loaded piece. I really, really like this. Um, again, we're being smart here, especially with Charles's chest or his pec. Um, so this is going to get your best bang for your buck. So I can feel this with the activation, that mind muscle, mind muscle connection people talk about. I get the best pumps out of this machine here. So I wanted him to do this today because it's just a focus, such a punch. Like I said, you're just using your chest, you're punching it through, you're squeezing, you're controlling the back. So it's a very, very good piece um, that we're gonna run to the ground here and finish it off on right. So I'm going to finish it off, finish off the chest here with a cluster set. What a cluster set is, is just a way to kind of, you know, push you past failure that you'd usually occur in a straight set. So I'm going to give myself little increments of breaks. So I'm going to do five reps. I'm going to pause for 10 seconds, do five reps again, wait, rest 10 seconds, five reps again, rest 10 seconds. Try to do me as many rounds as that as I can, but I'm still keeping the weight heavy here. I'm just giving myself about 10 seconds increments to kind of recover, to push past failure and keep going. So let's see how, how much we can get here. When you're recovering, you gotta really make sure you're actually breathing. You're not taking air in. It's gonna really limit your ability to recover with this muscle. That's a wrap on the training session. So we did, a, like I said, a good push session here. Had to work with Charles a little bit, so it was a little lighter on chest. Usually I would do some more, um, which is fine for today though. So we wanted to focus on the shoulders. Um, you saw we hit every angle. We hit the back, the sides, then we worked to the front on the presses, and we went to chest, got some good uh, flies in, as well as pressing. So that's what a normal, what I consider push, a chest and shoulder workout should look like. Hitting all the angles in the all areas of the chest, all areas of the shoulders. Get nice, nice blood, a lot of blood in there, a lot of pump in there. Push the nutrients in there. Go home, take your Thavage, or not your Thavage, take Thavage before. Take your Ithalate to recover and do it all over again tomorrow. So thanks for tuning in today. We're gonna go pose right now. Um, maybe you'll see a little bit of it. I don't know if he's gonna show that or not, but we're gonna go pose a little bit, practice, and keep getting ready. So we will see you guys next time. Can't wait for it all. So let's go do this. <laughs>